In this video from the studiofiles.com, I'm going to show you how to set up aux effect sends in Pro Tools LA. It's very similar to our logic video, except for that now obviously we are in Pro Tools LA. I have the same voice sample that I was using in our last video, so let's listen to the dry, unprocessed signal again. Test. We are testing my voice with effects on, such as reverb and delay. So, same thing. So, now we need to figure out how to get effects on that track. So, let's go into the mixer window with command equals sign. Now, Pro Tools, unlike Logic, doesn't automatically create the aux tracks for you, so we need to make one. So, track, new, or shift apple n. And we'll create one new stereo aux input. And let's, let's call this reverb. Now for its input, let's choose the first available bus, so just bus 1 and 2. And now we need to go into our voice track and use a send, and send to bus 1 and 2. And let's leave this box open for now. This is the fader that you're going to use to send more signal to bus 1 and 2. We'll leave it up for now. Now let's go onto our reverb track and let's place a reverb plugin. So, reverb, let's use Dverb. Now, Dverb is, is pretty simple to use. You just pick which algorithm you want. Let's pick a plate, and we'll pick a medium-sized plate. Plates typically sound best between one and one and a half or even two seconds. So let's, let's just put it at one and a half, and we'll leave all these settings default. And let's play my voice again with this fader up. Test. We are testing my voice with effects on, such as reverb and delay. Now let's crank it way up so you can really hear it. Test. We are testing my voice with effects on, such as reverb and delay. Great. Now, the uh, delay send is pretty much going to be the same thing. So let's close out of these two windows. And I'll hit Shift Apple N and create one more new stereo aux input. Double click here and we will rename it delay. And we'll use for its input the next available bus, so bus 3-4. And let's place a delay. Now, Pro Tools has a couple different delay plugins. There's extra long, long, medium delay, etc. So let's pick medium delay. Now, there are no presets that Pro Tools gives you, but that's okay because this, this is a pretty easy to use delay. We'll leave the mix at 100%. We won't put it on a low pass. Now, for the delay value, you can choose different ones for the left and the right channel. So let's put for a left channel, we'll make 150 or so milliseconds. And for the right channel, let's do about double that. So somewhere around 300. And we'll just crank the depth up and the rate. The best way to learn these delay plugins is really just to experiment with them and see what sounds the best for you. So I'll just do something like that at random real quick here. Now back on our voice track, we need to send some signal to 3-4. So create a new send and bus it to 3-4. And the same sort of fader box pops up. And so let's dial that up and let's listen to it. Test. Test. We are we testing are my testing voice with effects on, sound. such as it's reverb and, and delay. delay. And let's turn it way up so you can hear it. Test. 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 We are we testing, are testing my, my voice with, with effects on, sound. such as such reverb, reverb and, and delay. delay. And now finally I'm going to crank both buses even more so you can really hear them. Test. Test. We are we are testing testing So that's a good intro to how to use these auxins. You can use them for all sorts of effects, not just uh, delay and reverb, but this will tell you how to do it.